Hey guys, Pyrus Masquerade here, back with a vlog. Um, this is both a vlog and a rant. Um, vlog, Spin Master, you suck. Um, yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Um, high prices, they suck. Um, so today uh, is the first. So, it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year's. Um, first things first, my New Year's blog, my New Year's uh, vlog is up on my uh, blog because it. I had the same problem I did with my Christmas video. Um, and I'm thinking it's just because it's like it was like an hour long. So, all of the videos are in order. You just watch them. It goes the exact same way as um, the Christmas vlog did. Go on to my blog. And just watch all of them going down the line. So, <clears throat> um, next thing is, um, I'll have a link to the blog post down in the description link below. Um, yeah, okay, so now on to the sort of rant part, but I'll start with the vlog part. Alright, so, today, um, I woke up at 11 saying, oh, can we go to Target? Can we go to Target? I want to pick up something. Want to pick up more Bakugan. So they're like, okay, last one. Um, yeah, so I went, I went to uh, Target today. Um, spent about, I want to say, an hour and a half sitting in the Bakugan aisle. Just sitting there looking. Oh, which, oh should I get this one? Pirate Reptile, yeah! Subterra Fusion Dragon, oh, yeah! Like, nope. Didn't get any, either of those. Because um, I didn't have enough money for what I have here and um for what I have here and those uh so finally made my decision and now my decision was to get a Mectavius Destroyer no not a Dragonoid Destroyer a Mectavius Destroyer yes all the rogue Mectagon um bought it took it home opened it Took the stuff out of the, um, took the Mectagon, I took, uh, Slice Rack, Exo Striker, uh, Mandibore, and, uh, Korg, Korgdom, 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 however you pronounce the name, um, took them out of the packaging, and playing them for, playing with them for a few hours, um, Korgdom's leg broke. And that's exactly how you're supposed to transform them. Korgdom is the main, pretty much the main hub where everything connects to. So, Korgdom's leg broke, so Exo Striker could not get it connected. So, I'm, I was so pissed, so I'm like, I'm going to go run to Target and return this and see if I can get another one. So, um, the main, probably the main reason why it broke is because there's no die-cast metal in any of these Mectagon. Yes, there's silver paint, but there's no die-cast metal. In all of the other uh, Mectagon, the Mectagon have had die-cast metals somewhere on them. And all Spin Master had to do with these is put die-cast in the joints where you have to connect the pieces. Then it wouldn't have broke, broken. Why would you do that, Spin Master? All of your previous Mectagon have had something having to do... Some part of them had had die-cast metal in them. And now, neither one of the four of these, of the four of them, neither one of Slicerac, Exo Striker, Corridum, and Mandobore, none of them had die-cast in them. They had silver uh, paint, which made it look like die-cast. It's not die-cast. Even uh, Dredion had diecast, and that's saying something. Heck, even um, Miserac had diecast melon, and it was just in the tip of the gun. And that's saying something. So, because the leg broke, I was pissed. Um, went to Target back to return it, made an even swap. Got Nectavius Destroyer again, and it is a, apparently it's a Target exclusive, and it keeps saying on the box, uh, the exclusive part about it is, uh, Korgdom. 
So are they releasing a Mectavius destroyer without Corridum? Or are they releasing these individually? Let me bring this down. And also, um, a few days ago I picked up uh, from Blockbuster, I picked up um, uh, The Last Airbender and uh, Tron Legacy. So, um, are they releasing this with, without, um, Corridum, or are they just saying, oh, we're gonna be like, oh, it's, uh, Target exclusive to have the whole thing so you can combine them. Um, why? Like, I'm, I'm okay with this color scheme, but are you releasing them in, like, like, the attributes they're supposed to be in, because all these say dark is on them. So, are they just mutated into all darkest? Or are they... Because this is what drives me crazy. It says that they're different attributes also, but that's besides the point. See, even right in here, it looks like there's die cast on the legs. Nope, there's no die cast in here. So, um, this is also going to be an unboxing of this thing, because I want to show you how this thing is put together, uh, how this one, um, how this one is, um, different from the other, if, if anything. Um, take my good, my, uh, little knife. It's not really little, because it's got a big blade. Big blade. Yeah. Um, so, as you see, Mectanium Surge logo there. Um, as of this point, we do not have confirmation for Season 5. We are still on the second arc of Mectanium Surge. There is no confirmation on a Season 5, if any. Um, normally, by the end, of the end of each year, we have a the at least the title of the next season so that's what um, worries me because maybe we're not getting a season five and this is just a maybe because this is my thoughts and if I hear people saying oh 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 why are we not getting the season five I'm like I'm not gonna respond to comments that say oh why are you saying there's not gonna be a season five I'm like I'm thinking there's not gonna be a season five because the way it normally works we get a normal at least just a title or a a logo, how it's going to be spelled or something, um, or something like that, um, so, alright, there's no easy way for me to open this thing on camera, um, First things first, the review of this will be filmed immediately after the unboxing, but it will not go up until possibly Saturday, the, um, until Saturday the 7th, so, yeah. Um, no, my site is not live yet, my blog is live, just not my site. Um, I will get to that in, um... It should be live by at least the... F I'm hoping by the end of January that should be live. I got schoolwork to deal with, so... I got schoolwork to worry about, so... I'm not going to be worried about launching the site. Um, where's the crisp? Okay, it's right. And on this side, um, you see the show accurate one. There's just like there was with, um, I think there was two ways of, uh, for, uh, just like, um, Max's Dragonoid, there is two ways to make the, uh, Mectavius Destroyer, just like there was two ways to make, um, to make, um, Dragonoid, uh, Max's Dragonoid. So 
this is going to be the vlog and unboxing. Also, vlog, rant, and unboxing. So yes, I will change my blog post in a, in a minute. I'll change my blog title in, um, in a minute. Blog post title. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I can still use this for now. So here is the Mech TV uh, Destroyer and here's Mech TV Destroyer in packaging, like all wrapped up, even with the zip ties on. Yes, there's zip ties, but the good thing about this is there's nothing on the back. It's just plain, so it's easier for you guys to remove this and. Um, the cards are in here. Um, I'll get these out later. I really do like this because I'll maybe I'll use this for like a a, a little review thing, maybe a little review spot thing. Whatever. Um, and the instructions are in there, of course. Um, so in the back, there are these little there's these zip ties that are on here. Right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but they're, it really, they really do blend in with these things, but it's right here, here, um, and here. This one's like really tight on there, so. Woohoo, okay, I'm not gonna break this. Not, this thing's not gonna break. That's why I have my heavy duty scissors, you're gonna need these. Or just some wire cutters. Sometimes that doesn't work. You gotta do that. These heavy duty scissors really do the job. They really do get the job done. One. Whoa, okay, that broke. Apparently this thing has been sitting in the stores for quite some time because that actually snapped. It's gonna be an adventure. It's adventure time. Crap. There we go. Two. And three is right in here. Oh, there's four. Sorry. There's one that's around the wrist. There's four of them, sorry. That failed. That one failed. So there is three. There's the third one. Third and four is right here. Forgot to mention this. I already said this. I mentioned. Forgot to mention it. Then I mentioned it. And now I'm mentioning it again. Uh, the the fourth. There's four. The other one's right here where the scissors are pointing. Right in here. Let's hope I can just flip this one. Oh wow, it's, I think the, the zip tie is actually going to break the either the scissors or the arm piece. There we go. So there's that. I really do like these handy, the these heavy duty um, scissors, because they actually really did get the job done. Um, and there's four. So, making sure there's not anything else that is, um, zip-tied in. Um, nope. 
so really quickly before I pry them out, I'm going to cut the little, um, little, there's like these little clear rubber band things that are around them, and uh, I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and just, thank goodness these came with little scissors, because I guess these kind of count as wire cutters, but these are not like the heavy duty wire cutters I was talking about. These are like the really different ones, so. These are like completely different type of wire cutters. I mean like the heavy duty wire cutters. So, um, let's, I'm going to try and pop out, um, let's see, which one is uh, I'm going to pop out Slicerac first, then I'm going to pick out uh, like Exo Striker, then Mandibore, then Corridum. Corridum. Try saying that ten times fast without saying Corridum. Okay, so here is, um, what is it? uh, he's, here's Slicer Rack. Putting him down, I'll fix him later. Now, slide, just slides out, uh, just now sliding, I just slid out, um, what is it, this one, just, I just slid out, uh, Exo Striker. I'll get those two rubber band things off later. Now, just hopefully this one will just slide on out. Yeah, so now these are sliding out a lot better than the previous set w did. So, I'm hoping that means th this is a, the better one. So, hoping of that. Uh, here is Mandibore. And I'm going to just put this down. And now just doing my best to pop out a uh, Corridum. Corridum. I'll be right back because this is really loud. Okay, so here we have all of the Mectagon out of packaging, yes, they are very close to the camera, so that's why they are all non-frame. Uh, no, I did not remove the um, those little uh, clear rubber bands off of them yet. I have my little scissors here from my pocket knife ready to cut them off now. Uh, does... Um, Cork Dom have any more of those that I need to slice off? Ha! <laughs> that should work, slice rack. <laughs> Alrighty, so, um. There we go, there is that one, and just... Here's that little string thing, yes it is translucent. Alright, I'll stand them up later. <coughs> so putting... Lycerax and um, Cordum, Corrigdum aside for now. There would be that one. There is. If I could just pop this around and around. Oh, it goes around his head. This one is way more um 
that rubber band was wrapped around him more than the other one was, so maybe that's saying something. Alright, now, that was, um, that one was, um, Exo Striker. I have to learn the names of these. That was, no, that was, um, yeah, that was Exo Striker. No, that was, um, that was Mandibore. This is Exo Striker. Do, 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 do. Alright, so that one is unhooked. Hold on, I gotta unhook it. There we go, that just like spl uh, springs out. Of course, Mandibore. Um, of course, Mandibore's huge freaking hand was in the way. So you didn't see it. So yeah, um, all these are out of their packaging now and ready to be reviewed. And, um, yeah, I actually might not do the review of these until, um, Friday, I believe. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, that is pretty much what they are. Um, here are the cards. Here's the one, it only came with one Mechagon Activator card. So, the one it is, the one... Mechagon Activator card it is, is, it is, is, wow. Um, it's called Mechtavius Destroyer, obviously. And then it comes with Cor Corgadum, Advanced Mandibore, e e uh, Advanced Exo Striker, and then Advanced Slicerac. So yeah, and yes, it did come with um, instructions, and um, yeah, where's it? I might be using this for a um, for a little light box and just pop the top part off. Just since it's really easy to do, just take my knife and just slice this part and slice this part, and then you're good. And they actually fit in here very snugly. If freaking mandibles and we got out of the way, yeah, they they been there very snug. Um, just to show how snug it is. Here is um, here's a Mechagon Titan, which we only have two of, or but I only have two of. Here's Zenthon Titan. He still fits in there very snug. He has a a lot of room still left from here to here. So, yeah. Thank you, Xanthon Titan. Just gonna put you back here. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching me unbox this massive, massive thing. Um, I actually think I'm going to film the review since I do have some time. And I think, uh, well actually my battery's charging, so I'll probably just film it either tomorrow night or I'll film it film it Friday the 6th on Friday the 6th of January. Friday, January 6th. I'll probably film it. Maybe I'll do a a live um review or something like that. So there we go. There's that part. It's really easy to pop these um doo -doo -doo -doo. It's really easy to pop these um, top parts off, so just I just slid my little knife through. Well, it's not really a little knife; it is a big knife. Bah! It's a little pocket knife. Uh, once again, not little pocket knife. It's a big, big one. It is a bit. There we go. It is a big one. So it's really easy to do. Just stab at the tape. Ooh. I think I keep them to like 
track in the road. And then just slide that across. And it is very easy just to pop this up and if you want to you can like fold it down and around. And then here you have a little tiny review space if you want to use it for like Baku Nanos. I really wish I would have this would have got released early in the wave. Cause then I would have had a cool review space. But yeah, so thank you for watching me unbox Metcavius Destroyer to make sure nothing was um, destroyed. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching and thank you for thank you again for watching me unbox Mectavius Destroyers to make sure nothing was destroyed or broken. Uh, so till next time, I'm Pirates Masquerade saying later days. I'm already at eight minutes. Holy crap! Wow. Later, guys.